All right, I finished the wraps. We're gonna take a look at it real quick. I actually put the decals on there. And I ordered a specific uh, decal with my name and phone number and email address on there. Should I lose the rod? Got this neat little decal of the Maryland flag and I spaced it such that <clears throat> This is 19 inches, that's 20 inches, that's 21 and 22. Uh, just as a, you know, you know, from the cork down here all the way up there, if, uh, if I'm not in a place where I can measure my fish, I got a measurement right there. So, and then I've done the, <clears throat> put the tip top on, I got the right size there, and made sure all the guides are lined up. I've done this a lot where you look down the length and see that they are all in a line. It's hard to line up the camera with it. So going down the end, they're all straight. So now what I'm doing is I'm I'm laying it on the cardboard box here. Again, like I said at the beginning, I'm doing the, the low tech way. And uh, I got some Pro Coat here. There's a lot of different brands of stuff. I'm trying this one out for the first time. And, um, you know, I'm gonna mix up the two-part epoxy in this little dish and uh, start applying it to seal these, uh, these wraps up. All right, the directions on the Pro Coat say that I'm to mix this for three minutes minimum. So I'm approaching the end here. All right, since I'm doing this the, the low-tech way, with one hand I'm going to be spinning this. And really it's just a matter of keeping it from gooping up on one side so that when it dries, you know, you'd have a, you know, have all the epoxy run on one side. And this is why people do get the, you know, the motors to spin these it makes it a lot easier to keep a nice even coat and you know you just turn it on and let it run but like I've said my whole goal with this video is to show how easy it is and how you know you don't really need to invest in a lot of a lot of equipment to do this you certainly can And I'll just work my way down to the other, all the other wraps that I have on this rod. And the one other decal. I'll get them coated tonight. Alright, here comes the tedious part. For the first couple minutes I spun it continuously. But it's starting to gel up and all I'm doing is every couple minutes give it, I don't know, an eighth of a turn quarter turn something like that so, it's all right I got my entertainment right here it says it, it should have like a 30 to 45 minute setup time and after which um, I'll leave it alone and let it cure I think it's supposed to cure 24 hours before I put the next coat on I'll do that one time and then it's supposed to cure another 48 all right, first trip with the new rod I built on the St. Croix SC5 blank. Uh, seven foot six inch medium light and built around this right here, the finesse jig and craw. Uh, excited to see how it performs. Get out there, catch some fish, put a little bend in this new rod. First one on the new rod. Ooh, I think he's looking good. Oh wow. Yeah, he's getting one. Oh yeah, big walleye. <laughs> How cool is that? Very large walleye. That's neat. He hit hard. Oh, that's a nice one. Came up. I don't know what it says about the rod. <laughs> 
myself a new walleye. Maybe you accidentally built yourself a walleye rod, yeah. yeah. You crushed it. Oh, look at that! Nice. That puppy's gonna go like four and a half, five pounds maybe. Uh, if we get him to stop moving. How'd you know? He's about four pounds, ten ounce. Yeah. I'm surprised he stayed on. He yeah. liked the uh, finesse jig and crawl in black. First one on the new rod. Twenty-five and a half, four pound, ten ounce walleye. See you, Mr. Walleye. <laughs>